Here I have a parallel combination of three resistors, 2,000 ohms, 9,000 ohms, and 15,000 ohms. And they're wired in parallel with 120 volts AC. And the question to you is, which one of these resistors is going to heat up the most, that is dissipate the most power, when I turn on the switch, turn on the power? And we will actually look at it with a thermal infrared camera so that we can actually see them warm up. But for the time being, see if you can figure it out and then come back to see what actually happens. Okay, so to figure this out, we're going to look at a schematic diagram of the circuit. We have 120 volts. It's AC, I'm drawing it with a battery symbol here because you're probably more familiar with that, but um, it's AC voltage, 120 volts. We have three resistors in parallel with each other, 2,000 ohms, 9,000 ohms, 15,000 ohms. And our equation for power, you have P equals IV, you have I squared R, or V squared over R, and that's the version that I'm going to use here. So 120 volts squared on top for all three resistors, but on the bottom we're going to divide by 2,000 ohms, 9,000 ohms, and 15,000 ohms. And when you punch that into a calculator, you end up with 7.2 watts, 1.6 watts, and 1.0 watts. So in fact, the 2,000 ohm resistor is the one that has the greatest power and generates the most heat. I have the infrared camera. It's going to be recording video. It's now recording. And here we go. Now that I've turned off the power, we can see that it's going to take some time for the resistors to cool down. Okay, here is the same circuit again, only now I've added a 15 ohm resistor in parallel with the 2000, the 9000, and the 15000. So only 15 ohms. And so we're going to see what's different about that, having such a dramatically different, um, a dramatically different uh, resistance. I'm just going to add that in parallel here, 15 ohms, not 15,000 ohms, not 15 kilo ohms, but 15 ohms. So we're going to have 120 squared over 15. We're going to punch that into a calculator, and we're going to end up with 960 watts. And here we go. So that 15 ohm resistor was designed to absorb 6.5 watts, 6.5 joules every second of heat generated by the electricity going through it, or dissipated by the electricity going through it. Instead, what actually happened is that about 960 watts uh, of heat was being dissipated, and uh, that's why it caught the fire, and uh, we had some smoke and flames. Now let's do a similar exercise and we're going to change the circuit so our three resistors are now in series rather than in parallel. And so the question again is which resistor is going to dissipate more power? Which one's going to heat up more? And so in our circuit we've got 120 volts, 2,000 ohms, 9,000 ohms, 15,000 ohms. In series what we're going to need to do to find the current through all three of them is find out the total resistance. Just add those up. We got 2, 9, 15 gives us 26,000 ohms. 120 volts divided by 26,000 ohms gives us 0 0.0046 as the current uh, flowing through each one of these resistors. And so the power of each resistor is I squared R. And so 0 0.0046 amps squared times 2,000 ohms gives us 0 0.043 watts for the 2 kilo ohm resistor, and for the 9,000 ohm, the 9 kilo ohm resistor, 0.19 watts, the same process, and the same process for 15,000 gives us 0.32 watts as the power dissipated um, in the 15,000 ohm resistor. 
And so we will now go ahead and do the experiment. These are fairly small uh, wattages. And so I'm kind of curious to see if uh, we'll see them glow in the infrared. Now I'm gonna change the circuit from parallel configuration into a series configuration. And uh, so here we go. Okay, so that circuit is now built. I'm gonna give it some time for, because I've been touching those resistors and I want them all to reach an equilibrium with the ambient temperature in the room. So I'm gonna leave it sit there for, for a little bit. Okay, here is our series circuit, 2,000, 9,000, 15,000 ohms in, uh, in series. Here's the hot wire from the 120 volts through the 15 kilo ohm resistor. Zig through the nine kilo ohm resistor, zag through the two kilo ohm resistor, and uh, to the neutral back to the 120 volts. Enough time has passed since I built it so that the three resistors are, have equilibrated to ambient temperature. And then I'm going to turn on the power. see of those three resistors. In fact, we can easily see, even though it's less than one watt, we can easily see that the 15,000, the one closest to me, the 15,000 ohm resistor, is the one that's getting the hottest.